Hello there, <coughs> and welcome <coughs> to match day 26, the final match day of season 1, and uh, we'll load up the first game between uh, Wade and Romo. I'd like to give a massive shout out and a massive thank you to the 14 managers that took part in season 1. I do mean 14, because Damon and Mel co-manager team. Uh, fuck off Charlie and fight me to Apex and fight me in a long time to good. Um, but yeah, um, I'd like to shout out to uh, all the managers that have uh, uh, taken part in the first season of the FFL. To move forward to season 2, which uh, I'm more than excited for new features and Number stuff two, I've got planned and whatnot. so but uh, we'll look Number to that 19, next season I just wanted to give a, a quick shout out there to F1 taking part in this season so yeah back to the next match day we see a uh, Roaches L Wade versus Sotomayor Uh, our way sitting in 8th, when we're sitting in 13th. Uh, Raid in the uh, bunch of people that could. There's uh, two points between 5th and 10th. And uh, today going to be really all about them, I guess. It's that our way line up unchanged. Much like, for much like, much like, for mo like, much like most of the season, Jesus Christ, Wayne. Um, yeah, unchanged from the, uh, the lineup. They usually have. Thank it's you. the Roma like, lineup unchanged as well. Roma comes to this game with a 0 0 draw against Bray Wanderers. Our way comes to this game with a 2 0 win against Wimbledon. Um, <coughs> uh, away kick us off here in the first game off the final stream I'm going to tell the world about this because it's the final one uh, Carlos on the ball playing to Falcao and Cudrado playing tied to Falcao it's headed away by Socrates Totti picks up the ball plays it to Jonas who will play out wide to uh, Mbappe a bad pace coming down the wing here. There's an early board in and Bellerin will clear it away. Mindy heads it forward to Thiago for one to Mbappe. Uh, Thiago to Mindy. It's opening my Twitch app, so if you're watching at Coney, I've not read any messages. Ball comes in and Manus will head it away. I am now looking at my Twitch chat as well, so hello. on playing it to it partly Thiago and I think today today's stream really in today's match day be a chance for uh, people to scout players ahead of season two. It's a lovely border from Falcao but Thomas Party's gonna get there ahead of uh Akadi. It'd be a good chance for people to scout players and uh see who they want for season two. Or see there is gonna be a ratings cap on the draft for next season so you must have to be thinking a little bit more outside the box of players obviously this season it was anyone you like really from FIFA and a wide range but all the obvious names went the likes of you know Messi and Ronaldo and Ramos De Gea and Goal etc etc but uh, yeah, now with the ratings cap on draft, it's going to be a lot of players that probably should have been in the t in the draft for season one that didn't get featured. Also, Jose Callahan, I picked up late in the uh, transfer window, so it'll be interesting to see how uh, they get on in the next 
Oh, that's a good chance of Carlos in the next season. Really with the host, Charles are pretty. For one, pushing forward, finding Totti, getting back from four, and it's Jonas, and Jonas that takes a heavy touch, and this gets cleared away by Godin. But um, I know some managers have their teams already sorted out, or ideal teams anyway, so I know some managers have got a few players, and I know some managers haven't even bothered looking into season two yet. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see how the draft turns out, which I'm looking to start on Wednesday. Will be in well, and the uh, cup final will be Monday. Been talking to Ryan and Cameron about when they want to stream so they can watch it together. It'd be interesting. I would like to be a fly on the wall at that uh, viewing party or such. See how that, how that goes. See how that goes between the two. Kylie puts the ball in and it's Mendy clears for a corner. Obviously, Ryan and Cameron good mess in real life. So. Carlos with the corner, putting the ball in, swing the outside, and Zakadi just pushes it just over. I don't know why it being winning outside does anything to do with the stream, but. Yeah, I guess. Shesney with the uh, goal kick, punting it forward. Tago wins the uh, the free ball. Totti playing to a 4 1. Was he. The draft will be in reverse order. So that's a fantastic ball with him to go to find a Beppe. So it'll be bottom to top. So Owen really gets first pick because he's definitely finishing last. So we're we'll interested to see who his first pick actually is. I've got two ideas for my first pick, depends on who gets chosen. Um, so I hope they are. Uh, I, sh I should be like third or fourth pick, considering my team have played shit this season. And going to the ball in, and Barsaki tries to clear away and gives it behind for a corner. So if I can take back Napoli finishing the uh, low in the table, so I get a good early first pick. Cars with the corner in, and partly heads it, of course, tries to head it away, but heads it actually across the goal. Lucky no one picked up on it. For one, punting it forward to find Casemiro, who had it to Bellerin. Someone putting the first Totti putting a the tackle there, but couldn't win the ball. Casemiro. Then going in. Falcao to Isco. Isco puts the ball in. And Socrates will clear away. Then going back in to Isco. Isco passes it to Falcao, and it's a good save from Chesney. Uh, oh, in the second half, it's almost done there. Yeah. I'll say about uh, my players for the season of each team. Good ball, uh, picking the ball, shoots, and it's nothing to say from Chesney. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of any time. Good turn there from Mertens. Second tackle by Bellerin and it go out for well, a half time. Our way so far, though, when we get to get shot off. Yeah, so uh, players of the season for each team. Yeah, I would say Thiago has been a really good performance for when he has played. Um, picked up quite a few mana matches actually. Um, and Mendy, well, Mendy's been great for left back at, for Roma when he has played as well. Um, obviously sort of changed his team quite a bit throughout the season. Uh, so, <coughs> foul on Mendy left from that uh, As for Al Waid, uh, Team Werner comes to mind, super sub for Roach. Um, Casemiro has been actually really good defensively and attacking. He scored like five goals this season, I think, Casemiro. Um, and Golan done really well as well, actually. Roman assists and goals. So Totti on the ball and puts the ball in and it's Mertens and it's trickled in. 
Mertens will pick up a goal here on the final stone. Good body from Totti. And uh, Mertens gets his head on it. Buffon gets two hands behind it but can't keep it out. Sixteen. <coughs> yeah, that's another player for Roma, really Mertens. Mertens has been fantastic for Roma, the leading goal scorer for the club. I think that might be eighth goal of the season. And a uh, <coughs> good way for Mertens to finish the season at Roma this season. I got pushing forward trying to find Tossi there, but it's covered by Manimus. See uh, how we can get back into this game. This mirror is a quadrado. This guy. Good start from Totti, and he played at the Mertens inside, and we were fighting Thiago. Thiago at wide to Mbappe. Obviously, <coughs> Mbappe scored the first hat trick off the league, so he would go down in infamy for that. Mertens playing to Totti. Keeping the ball, I feel way more. Full on. <coughs> Mendy. To Totti. Totti will the ball in. I need some Jonas, and Jonas will make it too. And, uh. Jonas grabbing his. I think that's his first of the season. It's going to be his last as well. Or potentially, anyways. What a lovely body from Totti again. And uh, another, another header past Buffon. That one he couldn't do much about. Double substitution here for our raid. Isco off along with Falcao. There's Werner one and someone else. I think it's Payet. Yeah, Falcao off for Werner. Payet on for Isco. Totti at right to Mbappe, Thiago to Party. Another good ball in, Mertens tried to get something on it, but goes that for a goal kick. As we see, Nedford is coming off for Mertens. But before and all, clear it downfield, find Manolas, then go then back to Manolas. Not even interception pain in Nedford. Nedford still going. Plays it through to Mbappe for sporting and Buffon will snag that out the air. It's only been two hat tricks this season, never came from a messy against Rome, I think, if I recall correctly. Might be wrong though. Ball forward though to Totti, you can't keep it in. They went against Roma, who was against? Got the Vetsy coming on for Jonas. Swad sips up. United, ah oh, yes. Messi's hatching against United. Manas forwards, no further good interception, Mendy, Socrates, Thiago, 4-1-4 four four to Lovetsi, good help from Godin, Payet to Werner, Godrado, Werner tries to shoot but Thiago makes a good tackle there. Nedford to Lovetsi, back to Nedford.
Mainly just push off the ball by Nangolan, who will play it to Mellanus. Full on to Thiago, take by Paya and Casimir will play it forward. Stop, Damon. Cardi to Cadrado. Uh Damon, your match is fourth today. Casimir will head it up and uh, has it to Levetti of all people. Levetti forward to Totti. Totti tire to Levetti. Thiago to Mbappe. Trying to put the ball in, comes off comes someone and he goes out for a goal kick for him. It's going to be a corner, but it's going to be. Uh, Anderson Tisco making a last minute introduction here for Totti. Godin to Mananas will clear the ball. Well, it was a great free ball actually to then go and if you can keep it in. It's a good ball in as well. Partly will head it away. That is the end of the first game and it's a good win there to finish for one more. And uh, if our way losing that makes the uh, the middle of the pack look a bit more interesting. We're going to continue with team lays in the middle of the pack as well in the next game. And a match will go to Totti for 9.1. Sure, so it'd be more happy to see his boy Totti get a man of match in the last day of the season. Right, I'm going to go to uh, Bray Wanderers and Stee and Carvin and Liverpool. <coughs> it's a shame to say that uh, two people are leaving the league and Carwin's one of them. <sighs> He's got uh, stuff to focus on and shit to do. Uh, needs to be going pro with clubs and cards, so good luck to him. Wish him all the best in uh, that endeavour. And it's his idea to be fair of, of uh, us putting money into the league for next season, so he left us with that before he goes. Uh, Steve changing things up massively in the final day of the season, going 4 2 4. Again, there were so many uh, subs on. Got Joe Gomez in defence, got Koke and Keita in midfield, and Cafani up on the Fieri. <coughs> For all the uh, crosses with Di Maria and uh, Hazard on left and right wings. Uh, Liverpool unchanged from their uh, loss to America in the last game. Uh, Steve coming in off the uh, new and old draw against Weimar. Thank you, enjoy the game. See, fourth place, Bray Wonder for seventh place Liverpool. Game two here. And uh, Steve and his team, Bray Wonder, have had a very good season. They've consistently been near the top of the table at, and at times leading the table but hit a rough one of form lost a few games on the bounce and uh, cost them a chance of winning the league really they had a chance they were still in the, the title race 
up until they draw in the last game to Roma. Right when they needed to win to stay in it and they drew. But I predicted two good things from Steenies boys and uh, I was quite ready for them. Done very well. Um, as for Liverpool, uh, they had a really good start to this season, very good start to the season. Uh, we're top of the table, or near the top of the table for the first few weeks. It's a goal from Fabino of all people. Well, I'm chatting absolute shit about the league. A lovely build up play from Liverpool to be fair. Good turn there from Morris, I think it was. Little layer from Salah and Fabino puts it in. Um, but yeah, Liverpool had a great start to the season. Fucking Jurgen Klopp. Um, yeah, Liverpool had a really good start of the season, as I've said for the first time now. They hit a bit of a rough patch in the middle, but they've ended strong, they ended decently. Um, so, and it, it would be interesting to see how Liverpool got in, well, how Carwin got in the second season, but like I said at the start, of this game, so Eddie might be joining us next season. So see if uh, he can go in style with a win. We'll see if uh, Steve can ruin his uh, end of league plans. It's Alaba on the ball now, playing the Joe Gomez. Alaba to Cavani, back to Alaba. Lovely ball in, it's Fieri, and it's a good save from Edison. The fair. Both Edison and Addison, especially being the fantastic fellow teams. Um, both, I think, reached double figures in the clean sheets uh, list. So, uh, yeah, both keepers done really well. Uh, top players for Bray Wonders, I'd say, is Fieri. Fieri's been a fantastic player since the one him in the prize draw. Um, well, Hassel broken away on the left hand side. Uh, Fieri's Quickly got up to the the top of the league, uh, top of the yeah, top of the list of goal scorers. I think he was on six or seven. Obviously, he won't win the uh, top scorers. Um, go ahead and boot, but uh, I think if he had a f like a half a season, he definitely would. Um, I think where has been a threat like always as is well. It's been the the Holy Trinity for Grey Wonders of uh, Di Maria, Aguero and Hazard for the beginning of the uh, season for Steve, obviously Coutinho was there as well but didn't actually do much for Steve. As for Roma, Roma has a Liverpool, sorry. Uh, it was the Holy Trinity, oh it's a goal from Busquets, oh god it's all the defenders are getting involved there for Liverpool. And it's a lot of space in the uh, in the midfield for um, Liverpool, and they're definitely taking full advantage of it. Um, yeah, so Liverpool is the real life Holy Trinity, really, of Firmino, Salah, and Mane. With Firmino and Mane getting a lot of the goals for Liverpool. I think both Firmino and Mane won like eight goals apiece. <coughs> Salah's only scored two or three. Salah's been a bit. Salah's been the most quiet out of the uh, Holy Trinity, as such. But since Mane got injured, he's been kept out of the squad by Lucas Moore, so. Fabino out wide to Salah. So he can prove me wrong here by grabbing a goal in the last game. Mahrez, Biscuits, so being a bet to Biscuits, so it's a good save from Addison. It was a uh, a turn of into Bray Wonders in the last game for Innis too, but they should be changing in. Liverpool looking to finish in the top half of the table. Lucas Morse gets the short free uh, corner, Biscuits. Lucas Morris. 
Du kriegst krass in Zeit. Ich fand schon über die zwei Bahnen fein, Spitzgrass. Spitzgrass war schön, ich komme für Defender. Kefani hätte zu dem mehr. Kita zu Kefani. Okay, now who's been a key player for B1 Dusa Times when he scored that last second goal against Vionic, I think it was way back when. Most of the captain for B1 is one point as well. So Hazard takes his phone to Koko. Fievi. Back to Koko. Yeah, way to Hazard. Lovely ball in, but Van Dijk will clear. Salah to Busquets, Fabino. Oh, there's Fabino. Busquets, good play for you from the four. Word of all to Busquets, Fabino, Busquets. There's it in the first half here. Any uh, 4 2 4 formation for Steen not working out well. Morris. Tough from Cavani. But Steen or Steen looking to just have a bit of fun in his final game. Nothing to play for, nothing to lose, so why not? Fieri inside to Keita. It's a f I think it's, a, it's another manager. It's done that now. Cover them when I get to the game. Uh, Alaba. Fieri to Koke. I would personally would have done, but I'm facing Billy in my final game and uh, I'd like to go out on a win against Billy. Would be nice. Biscuits to Bowers. That's a move play to Peace Track. David Reese, Keita to Fieri. Fieri gets fouled. If we kick to Bay Wonders. Both teams making the sub here. We have got Ank Kante going off for Kito, we've got Lucas Moore going off for Mane. David is the ball forward. Kilo by Mares. Mane to Busquets, Firmino. Mane. Busquets to Fabino. Firmino. Salah Fabino Then back to Biscuits Firmino Heavy touch and Coco will play it to Cavani Fieri back to Cavani Coco Trying to find a Hazard but Not to be Yeah Liverpool sort of thing coming on Telemans on for Mahrez Hazard will go back to find Alaba. Kante to Hazard puts the ball in. And I have a great head away. Money to Vermino. Back to Telemans. Robertson, Telemans. Sergio Biscuits forward to Fabino. Back to Biscuits. Telemans. Biscuits. Good. Either seven from Koke. Live for definitely from the third. <coughs> Alaba to Hazard. Gomez to Koke. Fieri. Sire to Kante. Good tap from Robertson. Biscuits to Telemans. Fabino to Biscuits. Mina pushing forward. Finding. Biscuits will find Salah. Salah finds Firmino, good block from David Luiz, and Firmino gets another bite of the cherry, and it's saved by Allison. Add a bird of cocoa. Hazard. 
good tackle for Bino there, but it's gonna draw a foul. I thought it was a great tackle personally. Big Ray was calling him Cavani. Fabino's going off for a cover trick. Probably push play to the side of play the cover trick. Fabino back to cover trick. Over rear touch from cover trick, but should never work out his favour actually. Gets the ball to Salah. Salah playing it to Kovacic, puts the ball in and Mane could have got his head on that but didn't. And uh, Alisson would pick up the cross. <coughs> Coco de Cante. <coughs> Firmino to Mane. Mane, bit tricky, playing the better biscuits. Mane inside to Kovacic. Salah's open. Goes himself, cover trick, still going, and it's going to be caught by Anderson. <coughs> Kante to Fieri, Hazard. Fieri just can't get to the ball. Van Dyke back to uh, Edison. All the to Van Dyke. Edison boosts the ball downfield. Cover trick to Telemans, Mane to Firmino, Mane. Firmino, good to have him. Koke, peace trick, Koke. Kante, forwards to Koke, and it's peace trick. Di Maria, gonna rip the ball in, comes with Robertson, and it's gonna be cleared by Liverpool. Waterfold to Pereira. It's just getting time here for it's a lovely time by Salah, but Adama really well. Gomez back to uh, Addison. Gomez will clear up wide to Petrick. We'll probably we'll just get <coughs> a chance to get a consolation goal here. There they went. There's a, a nice 2 0 win there for Liverpool and a good way to, for Corwin to see out the season as he raised goodbye to uh, the FFL. And he's having a bit of fun in his final game. I had one shot round, you know, it went 44. Man of match will go to Biscuits in the final game for Liverpool. A 9.2. Now we move on to another manager who's sadly departing, and that being Charlie. And he's led to Wimbledon versus Carl's Real Madrid. <coughs> and, uh, I win fear for women and will I take him above Carl actually to finish. So it'd be an interesting game for you two. Here's Dee Bim in the lineup for the final game. Unchanged from the uh, Ross to An Awaid. Here's the Rebels in the lineup unchanged from their loss to Dortmund in the last game.
And uh, so one nil win to Wimbledon in the last game between these two, so I'm sure they can repeat that here. But uh, these two teams, um, we'll look at Wimbledon first. Key players has been definitely De Bruyne and Costa. Um, Costa being top goal, goal scorer for Wimbledon. De Bruyne having some fantastic games for Wimbledon. And I obviously can't forget Charlie's boy, his lad, his baby boy, Bong, guys from Bong at left back, who uh, Charlie chose as a meme pick. It was a bit of banter, but uh, as he turned out to be a fantastic player for uh, 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 Charlie's Wimbledon. He's played very well at left back, and he's even got an assist to his name for the season, so I think it's the thing Charlie be most proud of leaving the uh, league. Huh. <coughs> Try to even the league because he uh, doesn't really know all that much about football so fair play to him for taking part in the first season considering he knows little to nothing about football but <coughs> then again so does Kyle Kyle isn't crewed up on football either but he's sticking it out because why not I guess I guess I think for Kyle it's just the bad news the lads uh, and anything Ryan's in and competing in I would definitely want to outdo him, so I'm not quite capable on that nose wine really. Um, but uh, I would honest, I would say Real Madrid have performed the best this season for one reason and one reason only. They didn't, they haven't had any new additions to the squad. Carl's squad stayed the same from day one, and uh, they're currently in fifth. A war leading the league at one point as well, and another team that's been consistently in the top half of the table. So uh, fair play to Kyle. Uh, I think next season he actually might get some new players in for his team as Kyle Walker pushed out a play with a heavy pass. But um, yeah, fortunate to see Charlie go because Charlie likes the banner. And uh, on that moon in season two. <laughs> I guess we've got the Irish lads for bat now, so. Oh, we can paint it forward to a uh, bow who whips it in. Oh, how we head it away. But yeah, well, they both, yeah, Roger, it's definitely dark horses for the season. Goes to the semi finals off the, uh, FFL Cup as well. So not to be ashamed of this season, definitely for Kyle. That's probably why he's staying in, in it, because he knows he could probably, or yes, the capability of winning something he wants to do this season. So I'm sure he definitely can, or definitely stands a chance next season. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Silver to Insignia. Bong doing Signe, Signe forward to uh, New Zealanders. Uh, and Signe is another stand up player for uh, uh, Wimbledon. He scored uh, <coughs> a few decent goals. He actually scored in a goal. He actually scored a goal between these two in the last game. After Handanovic, Howler. Uh, Real Madrid players. Don't need actually go for the players. Obviously, Bale has been a key player for. Uh, Madrid being a top scorer. Benzema had a really good start until he got injured and then Rashford came to the team. Let's get Benzema ever since. Great block from David Silva and Ramsey will put it wide. But uh, Benzema's been a great player, as has Rashford. Fair to find the four for Real Madrid for being decent. And uh, Harry Maguire, who's got two man of match awards and two goals, I think, to his name as well. Being a, uh, a key standout defender. At least going forward, anyways. I suppose playing it to De Bruyne. Insignia to Crespo. Lovely ball in, and uh, bad tell you, head away. Obviously, uh, Wimbledon being the only team this season to have three keepers. And player of the season awards. Uh, I'm just going through like each team 
I can't. I don't think I could do like an actual like play of the whole season. Uh, I definitely know the keeper of the season that I'll choose. That'd be Kepa. I was going to say when I got to the Dortmund game. Kepa's an amazing, for, amazing season for Dortmund. Um, outstanding in goal, and why he might have the keen or the golden glove. Um, or he might do actually. Depends. He might tie with Neuer. Um, there's a corner from De Bruyne on the Rashford heads out for another corner uh, yeah Kepa in my opinion definitely key for the season um, but I will have a player of the most man of match awards with you shortly so like once this game's done or well, once the stream's done I wanna release all the official stats and stuff of the top players we've seen and stuff so and then People can decide from now, I guess, on play the season. Also, Mindy, now why it's to cover how. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Walker heading it away to a uh, bong, De Bruyne, Insignia. All come to Sink Costa, and Sanchez will head it away to a Stoning. And uh, I just saw Mel's Snapchat, and I'm instantly jealous of the setup they have. Really jealous. There's, uh, there's not much to talk about this game so far, so hopefully the second half can uh, pick up a little bit while well, I uh, imagine myself eating pizza. Thanks, Mel. Uh, remember we're keeping the here in the second half, also to Sterling, good tag from Crespo, who was the uh, first legend to enter the league. It was the first legend that was won, I should say. And I think he was anyways. Might have been for one. He was for the first batch, I know that much. Um, but, um, yeah, Crespo hasn't really performed on the uh, Charlie. Which is a shame, because Chris Bowie is a fantastic player, or was a fantastic player when he played. The lovely ball from Mashford find also, but still was going to get ahead and clear the ball away. <coughs> Bad Teddy finding Mashford with the uh, boost pass, getting the one forward to Sterling. Walker to Sterling, back to Carl Walker. And it's Otamendi heads it away. <coughs> Bong clear. And I think, to be fair, a draw wouldn't really suffice for either of these teams because both of these teams not only want to finish above each other, also want to finish above Ryan. <laughs> so, we'll see uh, if either of these teams can grab a goal. I'm sure Cole will be more than happy with a draw though, because I think that would keep him just above Ryan and above Charlie as well. Bow pushing forward, good tackle. Good decision with Carver Howe. De Bruyne playing the silver, Bad Teddy. De Bruyne, Insignia, a lovely ball through to Costa who's going to get on the end of that. Crespo. Crespo whips it in and Maguire gets ahead of Costa just to play it away. Bale to Ozil. Sterling to Ozil. Sterling. Gundogan. Ozil. Sterling. Oh, we'll kill a Sterling. Comes off Bong for a good in the, uh, block. De Bruyne to Crespo. Crespo pushing forward, finding Costa. Insignia to Davis over. Bad Teddy. Tire to Davis over. Insignia. What's up, Indy? Oh, it's good to tackle over Mashford and lose an a piece up to this ball. Ramsey. And then there's the entire to Ramsey. Sanchez to Ozil. <coughs> Losing my voice. Bell out uh, entire to Gundogan. Sterling finds Carl Walker. Puts the ball in. 
Bale heads it towards goal, but Casillas will make a easy catch. Uh, to be fair, Wimbledon have had three very good keepers in goal, and all three keepers at one point have kept taking G, which is a uh, something special, I guess. Um, it's also unfortunate that uh, Charlie had three very good keepers because he's smart from him taking keep out of the league early in the draft. But it's unfortunate that none of them have really performed that well during Wimbledon or in 10th, as we speak. Good play from all. Oh, Warren Hansen, they go out for a goalkeeper and set the case out for a throw in. As we see, uh, Fasquez coming off of Balotelli, and we've got Fabregas coming off of Gundogan. Carvalho throws it to Fasquez, who puts it in. Carl Walker clear. Fasquez gets the ball again. And it's going to be Maguire, someone who clears it away. And his five silver. Fasquez again comes off someone, but across the piece like Louis Ball finds Insignia. Chris Bowe's shoot comes off Carl Walker. And uh, Sterling will play it to Ozil. Ozil arrives at Ramsey and it's Rashford now. Oh, there's an ambitious pass up in Rashford, it's killed by Bakirini. Rashford inside to Ramsey. Good have from Carvel. Rashford wins the back, puts a good ball in, it's Bale, and what a goal from Gareth Bale. And uh, Rashford showing why he's kept Ben Sam out of the team. And uh, Rashford also showing um, while why he might be a very popular pick in the uh, draft for season two. Lovely finish from Bale as well. Oh, what a lovely goal to end the season for Kyle. I agree, Damon. It's fantastic here. Absolute crack of a goal. <coughs> and this will definitely secure fifth place for Madrid. Might be fourth, actually. I don't know. I remember the uh, point gap between Bray and uh, Madrid. That's all putting the ball over the top to find Bomb and then we'll hit it away. Rashford inside to Ozil. Back to Ramsey. Fabregas to Ramsey Ozil. I'm sure Mel will be looking at getting Ramsey in the team after uh, me telling Mel's reaction that Ramsey's leaving Arsenal at the end of the season. So Just let Mel know that Aubameyang can't be chosen in the draft, Damon, please. So I know that'd be Mel's first pick if it was to go with. I mean, he's got the initial first pick. And I said Mel's gonna want, and uh, yeah, no can do, I'm afraid. Uh, but yeah, Madrid ends this season with one win, and that means Ryan will definitely finish off Charlie. Which will no doubt please Ryan to no end and uh, annoy Charlie to no end. That means Cole would finish above Martin as well. Which will annoy Ryan, but please Kyle. Uh. And he's fish with him and Jesus. Uh, man, the match will go to Rashford, and that's him showing why he's going to be a, fan, a popular pick in season two. I can imagine they've been making a uh, a case to be in the first round of picks. And now we move on to your lads, David and Mel at America. So I know, oh, so I know you are watching, and you'll be facing the plucky Irish lads of Banfield. In your final game. Huh. 
of America, currently sitting in ninth. Banfield with the wooden spoon for this season in 14th. And a win here for America will definitely push on the table a little bit. A win for Banfield will be just establish a bit of pride. Needs to play to watch Neymar and Figo. Uh, oh, this is costliest in the game, but Neymar's definitely been the player of the season for me for America. There he is. It's Figo. <laughs> Told you when I first made the legend stuff, they're not going to look like. Uh, actual world of counterparts, so waves. New team moving on up on train from the uh, win against Liverpool in the last match day. Needs to ban for line up. Uh, one change. Uh, Richards back and goal. Off the Randolph letting three against United last week. From that unchanged. And uh, America with a a good a good season. They had a very good mid uh, middle of the season. They were pushing for like top spot at one point. You know, third or fourth. I think the highest they peaked. Um, but they're definitely in the title hunt at one point. Uh, slipped away. A few uh, uh, defensive errors and mistakes and an early cross in from a Um But definitely something for Damon and Mel to build upon going into season two. Um, I reckon they could do something next season. They've shown potential this season. Uh, players for the season for America are definitely Neymar, top goal scorer for the club, along with most assists. I think if memory serves me correct, I'll check after. Um, Albers played really well for uh, and for Banfield for America actually to be fair as well. Um, Lukaku's been alright when he uh, actually went to play. Um, got two man and match awards as well, with uh, Lukaku. And uh, Tony Cruz, obviously Tony Cruz has been a superb player as well for America. Scored a few quick goals and uh, a few assists, but just been a key player all round, really like commanding midfield. Along with a uh, speed of midfield with him, that being Kondopi or, or Allen or sometimes Fellini. Uh, as for Banfield, uh, Leroy Sane and Usma Dembele have definitely been the key players for uh, Banfield. Uh, refused to be played to begin with, but uh, Owen finally gave in three, so stubborn ways and played Sane and Dembele and changed the team uh, for the better. Uh, Sane being the assist machine for Banfield and Dembele being the goal machine for Banfield. I'm not counting out the Irish lads because I you know uh, Duffy's got a goal and Hendricks have got a goal and obviously Shane Long scored the first goal for Banfield way back when. A header against Dortmund. Um, and also Banfield to Dark Horses off the FFL Cup getting to the semi finals, unfortunately losing to uh, Spurs, the league leaders in the end. There's a lovely ball in there, it's cleared away. Bobby Brady missing in action today, being injured. And Pepe will head away. Um, also, fun fact, the first of a clean sheet in the FFL was by America. And it was, asked me a bigger figure of all people as well. Uh, getting his clean sheet, or getting the first clean sheet in FFL. They were, was traded out for 
attacking who is in goal now for America. Um, yeah, big effect in the uh, first clean sheet at FFL. Never forget. And with Dean Maria, with Phil mentioned, Dean Maria got the first goal of the FFL in either the Amgens or in the British Amgens, Madrid. So he can be go down in history as well. As we are looking into this game and there's an offside call there against Dembele. It's been a bit too early though. I can see Dembele being hot property in the draft. I wonder if uh, uh, Biddy will get the young Bailey because I know you see him for this season and then get him. I know that uh, there's a few players actually that really want to, but if you get them or not, it doesn't matter. wonder if Damon and Mel have been looking at players for season 2 as well. As we look at this corner, tamed by Figo, it's cleared by Alaba. Clark heads it to Dembele. Figo, good turn. Heads it off to Dembele, Figo. It's all back to Figo, back to Ritz Hall, puts the board in, and it's Kimmich who heads it away. Ashley Young to Figo. Ashley Young to Sane. And now Young will if it in, comes with a Bemyang. <coughs> Kimmich to Chogo Silva. So it pumps it forward. Bemyang hakes it to the Lukaku, but Clark's there to tackle him in this house. Figo to the belly. Common with a heavy pass through to Hadaki. I know as soon as uh uh Abemian comes up in an auction, uh Mel's gonna be telling Damon to put all their money on Abemian. Definitely gonna happen. Oh shit! I've reached 500 views on my channel. That's pretty epic as well. <coughs> uh, thanks for everyone who's ever watched um second minute hour of my channel. Much appreciated. Don't watch this game now because this game is dull as fuck. No offense, Damon, but nothing's going on. Yeah, I've just looked at my Twitch uh, dashboard and it says I've got 501 views on my uh, channel. So that's pretty sick. I'll get one more follower, reach 50 followers in the stream as well. That'd be pretty epic and pretty coincidental as well. The belly gives the board away to a Bemyang. Kaku, who uh, Great ball to a through to a Ben Yang. Ben Yang's going to get that Harry Ashley Young. But a poor cross in from a Ben Yang. Young will clear it to Duffy. Find Sane and it's Figo forward to roll. Duffy. Ritzel. Figo. Over the top to find Carmen and Dembele. Carmen. Ball comes in and Chogos will head it away to Allen. Allen will clear down the field to Lukaku, heads it along to Bimyang. Allen to Cruz. Cruz forward to Bimyang, it's a heavy touch, but Bimyang will win it back. Cruz to Lukaku. Cruz will a great tackle. Allen that way to Bimyang. Kivic. Insides to Cruz, as a image. And Young's gonna pay it as a dive, he'll clear it away. <coughs> Whistle forward to roll, and I'm surprised Axel Whistle was left at the initial draft and out of the first transfer window as well. Uh, I mean, picks him up and they Neymar pushing forward here for, for after falling through ball from uh, Lukaku and Neymar. 
will show that he's not to be forgotten as he'll grab another goal and a great goal at that as well in the final game here for America. Proving why he has been America's player of the season for me. Being restful at near post as well. Uh, it's a great free ball to be fair from Lukaku. <coughs> uh, I'm not doing well to finish that pass westward, even near post. No, name, I think, one nine goals for the season, which is impressive, very impressive. Vigo gets tagged by uh, Kim Pepe, and then Bele picked her up to the whistle. <coughs> they launched a massive name on the chat as uh, Daki gets her hand on that course. <coughs> uh, Bermiang. Lovely pull in size of Cruz. Neymar to Cruz. Allen. Neymar, good ball to Alba. Lovely pull from Alba, but Clark will clear away. The belly to Artunovic. Wow. Rather lovely boy over the top of the final sign, eh? Trying to fight, put the ball in, but Kimmich gets a good block on it. Kimmich will clear down forward to Aubameyang. We'll head it to Lukaku. Lovely before the ball to Alan, he'll place back to Lukaku, and Lukaku's on side, and Lukaku makes it. No, he doesn't. Oh, Lukaku should have made it too. That was a lovely play there from America. Lukaku doing a Lukaku much like he did against Arsenal and uh, fucking up the open charts he had. Uh, Kondop is on for Anon for America and uh, Barretta is on for Fortunovic for Anfield. Of course, I'm going to throw in a Man United Arsenal joke. It was a uh, fucking United. One year Arsenal. Pepe to Alba, forward by Cruz to Lukaku, Kondopia to Aubameyang, Kondopia through to Kimmich. Kimmich will shoot from range and it's a catch from Westwood. Unlike Kimmich to shoot from there but worth the effort I guess, around the game of the season or whatnot. Alba inside to Cruz, Neymar. Lovely ball in, Aubameyang to the back post and Aubameyang grabs the goal. Mel can be happy that her boy scored. That's the additional front flip there from uh, Uber. And, uh, Uber uh, and this even with a goal and confirming the win here for America. Lovely Heller being actually young in the air and getting it past Westwood near post. I got a feeling that was Mel the top that and not Damon. <laughs> And uh, Uber hasn't done much this season to be fair. Not gonna lie, <coughs> been a bit quiet, it was quiet at Romo. Paid a bit more, or shown a bit more of his potential here at America, but maybe you'd do a bit more better in season two. But it puts the board in, Joe Silver chest it out for, no, right, keep the board in, or keep the board in for a throw in, rather than a. Corner. Dion Bailey's coming off for Bemyang. Bemyang's coming off, and I'm sure Mel's now gonna rage. Carthy and Sean McGuire making a rare appearance here for Banfield. Stan puts it out for a, a corner. Carthy on for Sane. I didn't see who uh, McGuire's coming for. Or well, Dembele. Bailey heads it away to Neymar. Cruz to Silva. Alba inside to Condopio. Lukaku. Trying to find Neymar. But Colin will head it away. Coffee downfield. Alba inside to Silva. Cruz to Condopio. Bailey to Cruz. W inside to Bailey, forward to Neymar. 
I'll be both travel. Carl's a good block in Colin O'Cree. And it's a, uh, a good 2 0 fixed week to a fixed to, to end the season for America. No, push them on the table a little bit actually. Potentially. I think they'll go ahead of our Wade for sure. But a good, uh, good game to end the season on North America. Lads, lads, lads. So you got man a match. This is your name, or his name, or showing why you can try and pull in that America. Bad for having the one shot, a goal. Right, then move on to the uh, final three games now. And we're going to see uh, Biddy Sohot. against my boys Napoli in a, a watch match I guess between me and Biddy because uh, probably the one person I want to beat the most in the league is Biddy because it's Biddy and me and him do have a bit of a rivalry much like Ardy and Ryan does and Ryan and Colt <coughs> and uh or Billy and Owen really, same kind of rivalry. <coughs> but, uh, there's actually something at stake at this game. It's not despised. It's a chance of second place. If uh, Billy wins this game, he'll go into second place for momentarily and then Dortmund will play after this game. And that decides. Second or third. Number 26, Alexandro. Number 18, Nabil Fikia. And Number eight, if Iniesta. Karen wins the cup, the first of the league, second place will get the prize Alexis that it should have went to the cup winner. Number 10, so, Lino we're definitely something to play for. You see, Oval thrown up. Changed from the 4-0 uh, win against Rio Negro. And a, a small change in my team heading into this game. Uh, for the 3 0 defeat to Spurs in the last match day, which led Spurs to win the league. Uh, Blanc's been dropped for Benatia, of course, Blanc's been terrible at centre back. Absolutely dreadful. So, dropping him. And, uh, sticking with the same lads. Thank you. Enjoy the game. I just want a good performance. That's all I want. That's all I want out of this game. Because last week we got trounced. We didn't put up a fight and we got bullied. And we lost 3-0. So. <coughs> so, uh... We'll see Billy's team. Uh Luke's team. The three names that stand out and that is Messi, Ronaldo and Darbala. They've definitely been the players of the season for me anyways. Darbala's walking away with the most assists of the season. He's on eleven. Which is a ridiculous amount. Um so yeah, so fair play to Pilot Dabala for getting most of this season this season. Very well played to him, he said. Great plays man though to be fair. Plays can finish. And uh Ronaldo won ten goals looking to become the goal in the boot but if he grabs more goals than Harry Kane today. And Messi also grabbing never person to grab a hat trick in the league, apart from uh Kylian and Bebe. Um, to fair, uh, Neto has also been uh, a key player. A bit of a lot of different for Wendy. As a. We'll see. Billy had Navas to begin with, and Navas 
let beat down a lot, especially in games against like the 3-0 loss to Banfield. Sticks out. And uh, Neto has had to step up and he's done well, Neto, when he has many goal. As for Napoli, um that's a good headway from Perisic. I'd say my player of the season, key players for Rodrigo, to begin with, he played very well to win some of goals, Timothy Gwain. But for me, the key players for me have been Perisic and Farvin. They've been fantastic down the right and left hand side of the field. <coughs> um, done very well, very well for me. Um, both have got man of match awards, both got goals and assists as well this season, so it's just a shame that <coughs> I didn't play Falvin a little bit earlier. If you had Sun to get in for the start of the season and I traded him for Miller and Miller's been a fantastic a signing for me when since joined yeah, Napoli. If your son has played much of it in higher so um <coughs> All Black's been a fantastic goal at some times and other times been absolute doctor. So but I'll never remember oh I'll, I'll always remember the uh the first game against Biddy where All Black was just on fire for the whole game. It's a shame that I didn't have that All Black all the time. Uh I thought from the favour of the season, obviously we were in the title race until last match day. Uh, I fought out for everyone. And uh, did the league lead the league at one point, I would. And uh, Billy got a little bit overconfident, changed his formation, and uh, lost a few games on the bounce, which caused his uh, demise in the league, and probably what cost him the league title, to be fair. As for Napoli, we've been alright, we've been a uh, Mid table team at best, I think. I think the highest we've ever been is like fifth, fourth or fifth. Nowhere, anywhere special. So he needs to put a shot well right there. But uh, we've upset a few teams and had a few decent games. Of course, had some really shit games where we had that really boring draw against Dortmund. Sticks out. Um. But uh, I'm a changing team this season, so I'm hoping my new team and new kit can uh, do well. New kit, new start, new season, new team. Totally fresh. Twenty minutes to corner in, and Sanchez will take that round very calmly and clear. Uh, Billy also changing kit next season, so I don't know if he's going to start the same process for him because he's done quite well with Ivor, so. East. Oh, uh, Tennis is giving the ball very dangerously there. Left side's open, but Benazio came in for Bronk, doing well. So, yeah, so we to see how, uh, what the reason is behind Billy's change. Or his fancy kick harder. Just say that Damon and Mel changed their kit as well, actually, to be fair. Um, I know Steve wants to change kit, but I don't tell me what team, yeah. Uh, I think Sod might be changing, I'm not too sure yet. Got a player with a great punch there. Um, see the new boys, Dan and Piero, uh, setting their kits. Ronaldo, Ryan Ronaldo obviously grabs a goal. Oh dear, it's a good build up there for my rod. And uh, Ronaldo pushing for the goal in the boot. The only reason to see it score when he gets me when he's a fucking prick. What about space in the middle, Jesus? So much space in the middle. That's put, puts Minardo on 11 goals now. And he was celebrating before the goal he went in. Goal for the host! Number 7. We still need to put a push from Dortmund to win the next game. Well, off time as well. Huh. <coughs>
Um, no shot shirt, Jesus Christ lads, what are you doing? Um, hopefully, uh, Massive Combo, who uh, is a regular watcher of my stream, and uh, did say about joining Niffelfell, if uh, I can get away contacting him. Hopefully he'll be joining us for next season as well, that'd be nice. I mean, I'll do it for a second, but I'll pay for Catch that. So yeah, so I'll try to get in contact with him today or tomorrow and see if he's still interested or not. And if he is, that'd be pretty awesome to get a Twitch viewer who knew nothing about the NFL until he watched it happen like on stream join. I'll tell you that is uh, quite the achievement actually. So we'll see about that. Uh, Tom wins the ball back from Napoli, finds Miller. Perhaps hits to Baggio. Heavy touch and kind of will pick it up easy enough. Clear away. We've got Fidal coming off Iniesta and we've got Falvin going off for Jose Callahan. Tellers will throw it to Perisic. Tellers. And then Baggio and Baggio was blow across in and for someone to clear. It was a touched out for a corner. Which Baggio is standing over, whips it in. A bottle will clear the ball away. Messi played inside to Tar. Fidel. For Tongan. Without uh, for Tongan, sorry, for forward to Bernardo Sanchez. Whips the ball in, it's going to be headed away by Tellers. I'm um, looking forward to season two, or looking to season two, as I want to make us up here. With El Shari Con for Fakir. Uh, I'm sure Billy would be more than happy to see auctions and more blind auctions come in and money involved with new players. As a B did not have to sack you after best luck this season with new players. In Cannavaro, uh, Lane Mains and David Calabria. All defenders, no one forward. So at least with Georgians and that whatnot, you have free reign of who you choose to buy and stuff, so Perisic, no. Inside to Tellez. Tellez keeps going. Whips the ball in and for Tongan is out for a corner. I would make a final stop here. If Lukaku coming off for Sanchez. Bego whips in a short one. Higuain's good save from Neto. Uh, uh, Higuain's on well to get a short off there to be fair. Body, ham seat to Pekio. Dabada heads it to Tar. I was sure he played to Ronaldo. Messi, I was sure he Ronaldo. Body wins it. Or ham seat wins it to Kabadi. Perisic to Pekio. Perhaps ham seat. It's Higuain. Good save from Neto. Bit of fight, that's the sort of one. We have thrown to Napoli. Perisic throws it to Hamsey, comes off Ronaldo. Fidel. F great ball from Fidel to find El Shuari. It's a lovely ball inside to Messi, and Messi will make it to it near post. And of course, the dream team of Ronaldo and Messi grab a gold each on the final match day. Also against me. This is, uh, I think, the right way for us to finish to refer. Uh, a loss and a kick in the arse on the way out the door. Of the league. And a kick in the arse on Napoli as well. Need a, that's why I need a new team 
Just a fresh start, that's what I need. Fresh start, clean slate, new team, new players, new mentality. And Taylor's got injured as well, which won't make a difference because it's the final game, so... I'm not going to punish someone for picking Taylor's and then being like, oh, he's injured at the start of the season, so... The only injuries that will carry over will be in the uh, last game of the stream, which will see United face Spurs, because they face each other in the cup final. So... Baggio back to Tedes. Baggio trying to dribble his way past Messi. Finds Callahan. Callahan to Muller. Florenzi. Muller. Sandro clear away for throwing. Double substitution for Napoli. Got Rodrigo and Gosteca coming on. Muller and Hamzik going off. Coming onto the pitch, number 19, Rodrigo. Oh look, it's my boy, so at least get a consolation goal. Rodrigo. Put it in. No, nope. cool. Sandro cares out for a foreign. Rodrigo. Someone give him support, Jesus Christ. Lukaku wins the ball from the foreign. Fuck, you know, that sums up our season. <laughs> This game and the whole sums up the season. Messi to a fit. Oh, it's a lovely ball to Ronaldo, but a bit too hard and Old Black will pick it up. Last two season or last two seasons, last two games or some of our season. Baggio to Pelzik, Baggio forward to Higuain. Callahan, Higuain, Rodrigo. Back to Pelzik, and that's a terrible shot. Baggio, shoo, no, Callahan. Oh, referee, <laughs> why? That's just a uh, kick in the teeth for me. He set the ball going, jeez. But uh, I thought win and put the pressure on Dortmund. And bowl one game, every game's finished 2 0 so far, that's pretty weird. Man of match will go to Ronaldo. And we'll move on to the next game. She's See if Dortmund can reclaim second place, or if Rio Negro and Scott will stop them. I know we're in the perm back. I draw. I don't know what happens with a draw. Doesn't go difference. Well, I'm gonna go difference. So. Ross for Kima first, which makes sense. Second place top it's a team run up, a uh, few changes for spending this team. Uh, new formation change as well, just trying something different in the final game. Me and Azadio, I don't know why. <coughs> so you got Arthur, De Jong in the middle, Dilic, uh, centre back, Sensio Lozano, Jovi got front. Obviously, Deco in the middle still. And uh, Scots, me and they got unchanged from their uh, loss to Ohod. Uh, so we and they in 12th. And a win for me and they I think will take them above me. 
So, thank for it's got to play for you. And uh, currently third place, Dortmund looking to go back the second with a win here. Uh, Dortmund, I've had a great season as well, along with Overwatch. Consistently in the top half of the table. It's off of a shot and it comes with Ramos. Um, obviously, Arthur started a lot in the start of the season out on the left. And uh, Spence changed things up. They cope with the board in. Ericsson will head it away. Uh, the key players for this season for Dortmund have been definitely in Sensio. A uh, great start of the season he had. You know, golf and assists, a bit quiet recently, but still being a dangerous man, really. Uh, Kepa has been a fantastic keeper for uh, Dortmund and for Spence. Great choice. It's one of them, short and quarter cool drive, a good save. Yeah, Kepa's my keeper of the season, hands down. Um, and, uh, Asper Crit has been quite good for uh, uh, Dortmund as well. Other another shot and it's a good catch and call draw. Deco and Jovic have been great addition to the team as well. Coming from the draws. Sensio puts up the ball, finds Arthur. Deco. And Jovic. Jovic will shoot, another good save and call draw. Uh, we're in Negro, they've had a, like me, an F F average season at best. <coughs> um, but they've had some great wins in the past. I mean, we're in Negro, we're the first ever team to win uh, five or well, score five goals in the league since that way. So they've got that to their name. That's uh, the Stormen. Stormen. Corner comes in high and Cordra gets a hand on it. It's one that keeps it alive. Gerard gets a touch on it. And Nardo eventually kill it away. Uh, Scott's signing off Christian Eriksson has been a great addition to the team. Eriksson's been very well, done, well, done very well here. Uh, really understand quite well. Steko picks up the ball. Uh, Encenzio to Jovic. Arthur. Good luck from Gerard, who's also a uh, really good impression since joining Yonigua. Uh, Ramos, obviously Ramos is Ramos. He's been a solid defender for Yonigua. And uh, Troyes has been a bit... A bit, I don't know, a bit... I can't think of the words. But um, Troyes doesn't lift up to potential, I should say. Really. Um, Lacazette definitely did when he uh, started the game, when, he's got, when he got started for Munich and made consistent starts for the team. Uh, Saar played quite well as well when he uh, was on in the early start of the season. Another 7 ball trial and Norman are just pummeling the uh, Munich goal at the moment. I'm sure it's got what it's to do better next season. Whereas I'm sure Dortmund or Spence and his players Dortmund will look to uh, keep this momentum going forward in the first season. Arthur to Incentio. Arthur. Deco. Incentio Lozano. It's another save and poor Take over great tackle level and Troyes. Guy to Encendio. De Jong. Arthur. Lasana. Jovic. And that's what Jovic took over.
go try and put in go kick out left of Marcelo. He's actually also been a fantastic player for Vinegro. He's my seven ball now. Inside to Gerald. Back to Ernest to Eriksson and puts the ball into Suarez. Lovely touch. Suarez off the post and Suarez looking to have a wonder goal to end the season here. Fantastic. Stuff made opportunity there. Following the uh, ball in from uh, Eriksson. Off the post. There's Arno and it's a good save again from Kultra. Marcelo forwards to Gerard. Back to Naldo. Forwards to Lacazette. Eriksen to Lacazette. Good ball, ball forwards to Marcelo. Whips it in. And Gaia will head it away. Rinian to Gerard. Robbins back to Ridian. Ridian the shoot comes off half and it's out for a corner. I know uh, Rinian go putting a bit of pressure on coming to the end of the first half here. Eh? First of the first half off the first half was all dormant. Ran with the head away. Ridian, good turn. As it turned Navarro. Oh, and he's giving away there. Navarro and Jovic's playing for Antonio. Jovic to De Jong. Lozano, get forward through to Aspokwell. Ball in, and now they will head it away. Deco pick it up, but the referee will blow for half time. Thirteen short storm in the head, Jesus Christ. All trials having the game of his life in the uh, final match day. Really sure Dorman really wants to uh, win here. It's been three months to beat Scott. Dorman did win the first game as well, 1 1 0. Uh, Arthur pushing forward. Deco. Goes off with a goal kick. Good try with the uh, goal kick out left to Marcelo. Gerard forward to Exxon. Suarez to Rillian. Exxon, Tobard Deco. Jovic. Kanik to Audio Zoho. Rillian to Exxon. Suarez to Lacazette. Lacazette Renault does it and it's an easy catch for Kepo. De Jong at left to Aspacua. Deco, Aspacua. Lozano, Deco. Aspacua gets tagged by Marcelo and we'll get a little door in front of him. Saul's coming off of Frankie De Jong. And uh, to be fair, Swin Shen is team around. And Saul and uh, Ferrati were on the bench. It's been fantastic for Dortmund this season. I'm going to give uh, as well on the bench too. Fygo has played every game for Dortmund actually. Or just had to push the ball in, the final head away. Gerard pushing forward back to Rudian. And it's Ericsson, and Ericsson will grab a goal here. Against Dortmund. Uh, Dortmund are only from South to play if they lose. They've had so many shots. Uh, Ocean has got traded for Fakir. We've tried him way back then. 
Getting a great finish there against Kepo. And with half hour or so left to play, can Dortmund get back in the game? And Zendia inside to Arthur. Jovic. Jovic does well. Well, if I know he does, and it's just wide from Arthur. And Arthur done well to get the shot off there. To be fair, he was hassled all the way by uh, Ericsson. Is. Five goals on for Arthur. And Messi goes on for Rillian. Good play from Dillich. Matic, Tabak, Jovic, and Zentio. Gaia, and Zentio. Fagel, and Zentio. More down the line to Gaia, and Zentio. Comes inside. I was trying to find Jovic, I think it was, but. Uh, Poor, poorly placed pass. Ericsson. Five goal pushing forward for Dortmund. A little bit of a scramble there, but it's cleared away. As we see uh, Savic coming for Pjanic. So, to this full paper spot in, and now they're headed away. Marcelo puts the ball in and the elite will head it away. Matic head towards goal with the elite will clear. Ball just over. Comes off Gaia, look out for a corner. Puts the ball in and saw it away. Gerard inside to left is it. Comes off Suarez. Suarez was shooting, Kebo will make a save. Like I said, puts the ball in and Suarez gets on it and Kebo makes a good save. Take over heady away. Marcelo to Savic. Gerard bats up Marcelo. Deck is it. Bits of boarding comes off for Ran. Marcelo bits of boarding comes off Lozano. Both giving the ball away. Suarez and good save from Kepo again. Guy forward to Josh Feigl, but Suarez gets involved. Weigel to Gaia. Entire to Saul. And Sentia. Matic with the inception and that winner for Negro, Negro, Rio Negro. Jesus.
will uh, confirm them finishing above me, and that will confirm uh, Ohod and Billy finishing a second. If my maths and memory are correct, anyways. But Dortmund had so many shots that game, I don't know how they didn't score. 14 shots with Ferri and Negro, and yet two shots in the first half, I had seven in the second half. Uh, Deco, man of match for an 8.5. And uh, the very dominant only had one shot in the second half, so we're going to dominate the second half and uh, squeeze the car after the second half as well. And now we move on to the final game of not only the league of the match day, but the league of the stream season one, and it is the champions Spurs and Cameron against sixth place. Ryan, and this is a encounter of what's to come in the uh, cup final as well, because it's these two in the FFL cup final, played at the Allianz Arena in Germany, away away from anyone else, no, uh, no it's going to be a neutral ground for that. Maybe the uh, teams to pull up. Number 20, Gelly Ali. Number 4, Ivan Rakiti. And number 10, Harry King. We've got Neuer in goal. Benucci, Ulrich Stein, a company, and Danny Rose in defence. Mbere, Deliari, Rakitic, centre midfield, Harry Kane at Cam. Michael Royce and David Tresgate up front in an unchanged team that uh, won the league for Spurs in the last match today. Knight, Oliver Kahn in goal, Roberto, De Fred, Squirno and Alonso for the defence. Sancho, Rabo, Pogba and Martial in midfield up front of Jesus and Depay. Unchanged team that beat Banfield in the last match today. <coughs> and it's the Kick has to kick off for the final game of the league. Uh, I would love to have given uh, Spurs a guard on uh, at the uh, expense of United, but couldn't do it, I'm afraid. So. But imagine United gave Tottenham a guard on, basically. Then I'll shoot again. Basically, it's time to Sancho puts the ball in, and it's company who clears it away. Pogba goes around Kane, keeps the ball, plays inside, but Sancho won't pay attention. Or well, it might have been Depay, I'm not too sure. Either way, the ball went up in those hands. So, the champion Spurs. Uh, key players, obviously, Harry Kane. Scored 10 goals for Spurs. Uh, Dembele scored quite a few goals actually early in the season. Been solid in midfield for uh, Tottenham. Obviously Neuer, the most clean sheet for this season. Uh, Walks over to Golden Glove off the Kepa losing his clean sheet in the last game there. Uh, so that means Neuer will definitely have more than Kepa. He's not going to share the uh, Golden Glove. 
and yeah, Cam's just done more of his team. He's put players in many positions. I've been actually playing right back. So that's also a goal for the player. Uh, yeah, but Benici playing at right back from some of the season. You got Harry Kane at Cam, Diddy Addy in centre mid. Uh, Loftus Cheek had a game at centre back, at least trying at centre back. Weird, weird formation changes and lineup changes, but uh, he's worked for Cam obviously. He's just led his team to the league. And uh, yeah, could also lead him to the double as well if he uh, beat United in the. Uh, Got a final. As for United, or I should say Spurs, uh, they had a poor start to the season, but about halfway through they just found some kind of form and they just kept going and going and going and they kept on the up, going up, going up and uh, end up with them winning the league. So, as for United, uh, Names that come to mind are Marshall, who's you know, a top goal scorer. And uh, we've got Dembele shooting comes with a uh, Marshall, top goal scorer for uh, United. Marcus Alonso has been fantastic at left back for Manchester United. Be a popular player, I think, going to the. Uh, well, both popular players going to the draft, actually. Uh, Gabriel Jesus has found his form, seems to be played. Scored quite a few goals for United in a handful of games. Um, it's interesting because when Ryan on his first commentary at Ryan, he went to the look at his team and he forgot yet Gabriel Jesus. And he put him in, and uh, since then he hasn't looked back, so. Um, be interesting to see if Ryan though starts the Herring goal or Oliver Khan against Spurs in the final. Because Khan's, there, Khan's played quite well, to be fair, since joining the team. Not to the Hay is the Hay. Um, but I'm sure both these teams, or both the managers, will be looking to change some formations, go into that final game. Or into the cut game, I should say. Whether with the cross team, but I'm just very straight to Neuer. I can't see either team keeping the same formation, but. I don't know, Ryan thinks he's a tactical genius and Cam's proven to be a tactical genius for winning the league, so we'll see if, if who bluffs and who sticks and who twists. Um, United have been consistently decent. They've had a really poor start to the season, to be fair. Really poor start. Um, but they had their first win against Madrid and they've pushed for the. I think they finished were second or third at one point. Um, they never reached the top spot though. Um, and I think anyways. But uh, yeah, they've uh, they dropped a little bit. About two thirds into the season, two thirds three quarters into the season. But they've picked themselves back up from following that little what they had and uh, now sitting in sixth place. It's a great finish to fair considering you drew like your first few games. Pogba looking to find Jesus. Jesus will shoot, it's a good save from Neuer, and Sancho will put it past Neuer to make it 1 0. He would be a definite confidence boost going to that cup final. It'll be very interesting to see how. East teams are not forward the cup final. We'll see. Will Knight or would Ryan stick with his United team if they were to obviously be win here? Will Cam change from his 4 3 1 2 formation? That's one in the league title and yeah, change formation all season. <coughs> so, questions that will be answered on Monday, which would the cup final be? And I'll put the time in the group once I find out what time. Both Ryan and Cam want it to be streamed. We can see it playing to Deli Ali, Trezeguet to Dembele. Bonucci with a shot and with a kind of good save. That's the end of the first half here. Six shots to two. United dominating the first half now. 
to move on to the final game or the final half of season one. The Mbele has come off for Loftus Cheek and Rabo has come off for Roderick. Marcos Alonso to Bernard Tapoco. Jesus. Jesus forward to Sancho. Sancho is shooting, it's a good save from Noyo. Sancho looking to grab a brace there, but Noyo denied him. Pogba with the corner. In heads it towards Modric, and it's another good save from Noyo. Poor header there from uh, Kane to clear it. Bonucci back to Daddy Ali, back to Bonucci. Ali inside to Kane. Bonucci inside to Voice. Ali to Voice. Rakitic to Kane. Rose. Lost his cheek. Daddy Ali. Kane, Daddy Ali. Rakitic to Lost his cheek. Ali Voice. Voice with an idol it and it's wide. Wide sub coming on here. Martial coming off for Thomas Lamar. I think Ryan's got one eye in the final. Taken off for Martial. Someone, any of these big players to get injured. I don't know if Cam's thinking the same or not. We'll see if uh, upcoming substitutions if Cam is to make any more. I'm sure he will, he's only made one so far. Kane that wide to Bonucci, heads it towards Loftus Cheek who plays it in the, into the box. And it's Oliver Kahn with a great save, a great double save from Oliver Kahn. And uh, Oliver Kahn proving that he wants to be in that cup final ahead of De Gea. A great double save there. It's poor clearance there for United to be fair, should have got rid of the ball. Miranda's on for company. I think Cam might have won in the final as well. Back a tick with the ball in, Squirrel will head it away. Off his cheek, inside to Panucci. Danny Rose to Kane. Kane puts the ball in. Pogba will head it away. Miranda to Trezeguet. Kane, Miranda. Trezeguet up left to Danny Rose. Always whipped in. Squirrel now will head it away. Rose to Off his cheek. Trezeguet to Off his cheek. Anyways, gets taken by Roberto and it's cleared out. United up. The Pogba coming off for Hamilton Rodriguez. Then he most throws it to Mac Rakitic. The tackle from Sancho. Sancho heads it towards Jesus. Rose out left or out right to, to Miranda. Mel gives the ball to Roberto, Sancho, Jesus, Sancho, and it was a good tackle. Lost his cheek. Kane to Trezago. Anyways, Kane, Rose, comes off the fridge and goes out for corner. Short corner from Tottenham. Voice whips it in. Rodriguez will head it away. Bonucci. To Rakitic. Whips it in. Good punch from uh, Karin. I think it might have been Diffridge who hit his head on it actually. Here comes the final spur sub. It is Voice coming off from Morata. Rose to Rakitic. Off his cheek to Rakitic, Daddy Ali, Rakitic, out left to Trezago. First ball in comes over Berto. Trezago heads it back to Rakitic who shoots from an audacious angle. And Oliver Kahn will let go just over the goal.
Ace Hughes hits it to Depay. Bonucci to Lostichik. Bonucci. Oh wow. Daddy Addy. Lostichik to Rakitic. Miranda to Rakitic. Daddy Addy. Inside to Rakitic. Good ball right left to Trezigo. The other car who was snagged out here ahead of Harry Kane. Jesus to Sancho. Mudrick. Jesus will pick up the interception, but the pike won't get it to uh, Lamar. Alonso to Lamar. Heavy touch and Daddy will pick that up. Kane to Morata. Kane. To Roberto sticks a leg in there, but doesn't retain possession anyways. Back to Miranda, lost his cheek. Trezigo. Sancho to Mudrick. Falls to Dadiadi. Bonucci to Dadiadi. Tottenham are famed for getting last minute goals, to be fair. Need more fame than Dortmund. All these late goals against teams like Madrid and Ohort and Bray Wonders that have uh, led them to winning the league. Kane has a good save from Oliver Kahn. No late goal here for Harry Kane, but they're going to get another chance time it seems. With the cheek out wide to Trezeguet, he puts the ball in and it's going to be caught by Tr Oliver Kahn. And United will definitely have to the confidence of the men going to the final game. For one the win over the, the champions, the league champions Spurs. And I'll just get the last word of match for a few thank yous and whatnot. And goodbyes and this annual. Anyway. Eight shorts to seven, your second game. Man, the match will go to Sancho from 8.2. And uh, that is it. That is the end of the first season of the FFL. Thank you again for everyone who took part and watched and whatnot. And I'll see you all on Monday for the FFL Cup Final. And then in about two weeks' time, maybe, for season two. I don't know. It depends on how long the draft takes. But yeah, I'll see you all on Monday for the FFL Cup Final. And until the league starts again, take care.